Hi, my name is Suel Pozel, and in this video, I will introduce you to support structures. Support structures are necessary in various methods of additive manufacturing in order to help keep a parts distortion to a minimum, allow the deposition of overhanging shape, and provide general rigidity during the printing process. Fusion offers a comprehensive suite for generating and applying support structures. It uses three main shapes of support, bars, polylines, and volumes. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how to apply various types of volume support. Here we have a model in Fusion's manufacturing workspace. I've already set up this part to be in a metal powder bed Fusion printer. And it is, as we look at it from the side, three millimeters above the build platform. As you can see, this part is a test part that represents different overhang angles ranging from 15 degrees all the way to 90 degrees. When we go to the supports dropdown, we have various supports to choose. In this video, we will focus on volume supports. We have two ways of applying volume supports to this uh, object. We can select individual faces or we can select the entire body. Let's go ahead and choose the entire body by double clicking and leave the critical support angle as 45 degrees. When we click OK, Fusion will automatically generate support structures for all the surfaces at the bottom, as well as all the surfaces that are above 45 degrees. As you can see, the overhang that has the 60 degree, 75 and 90 all have support structures applied. When we look back closely to the 45 degree, if you wanted to also cover this 45, we can go ahead and edit this volume support. And instead of looking for a critical angle of 45, if we increased it to 46 and hit OK, upon auto regeneration, I would also cover that section of uh, the geometry. Let's go ahead and turn off the build plate visibility to get a closer look. As you can kind of see, uh, these support structures are represented in blue and they have a certain opacity. And we can edit that by going to our preferences, going to the manufacturer subsection and change the opacity from 100 down to 50 to get it a little more transparent if you wanted to. Uh, next, we will focus on the style of support that is uh, represented with this geometry. As you can see, we have a, a cross uh, hatching here. And um, if you wanted to edit this, uh, we could do that as well. So let's go back into the volume supports and take a look at some of the options. Uh, let's move on to the general subsection and take a look at the filling type. If instead of choosing the structured filling type, we chose the uh, hollow filling type and hit OK. This will create an entirely different uh, support structure. And you can kind of see the translucency effect as well. If I look at it from the bottom view, this will give us the best view. In this case, we are getting these uh, rectangular shapes uh, of support structures because we have chosen uh, from the general tab the hollow section. Uh, we can control how big or how small those hollow parts are as well. Uh, to do that, we would have to go to the raster and contour tab and make the fragment size instead of small, for example, large. And when we hit OK, upon regeneration, we would see much larger fragments of support structures. The final thing I want to highlight is their orientation. They are oriented um, around the Z axis by a certain angle. We could, of course, change that so that it is parallel to the X, Y axes. Let's go ahead and hit edit, go to the raster and change the raster by Z from five degrees down to zero degrees. When we hit OK, the auto-generated structures will be parallel to the uh, X, Y axes. Another thing we could do is rotate this 45 degree to, to see the difference. Uh, which will be a little uh, easier to, to see. And when we hit OK, now we will see uh, diagonal um, 
support structures. How these support structures are connected to the part and how they're connected to the build plate and uh, a lot more about these support structures can all be edited and controlled using the support structure dialog.